I'm Demo in our CMove AGV solution and talking to our customers about how they can maximise their flexibility in both their production and logistics environment through using automated guided vehicles. So our solution is a control system solution for automated guided vehicles and the beauty of it is that we're using uh, proven industrial automation equipment that you might have seen around this hall today and you might have seen in industry that's just been repackaged and repurposed into an AGV format and this makes it really accessible for automation engineers out in industry so if anybody's ever opened up a control cabinet, control cabinet in industry and seen, been met with things like PLCs, HMIs, networking equipment they can take the lid off an AGV and be met with the same thing and understand what the brains of the operation are and this is helping us to kind of combat black box technology and give us the opportunity to really get the diagnostic data we need, maintenance data we need and also interrogate the program that's behind the AGV. So we have a scalable hardware solution as I said which means we can ramp up the solution to match any application and the AGVs come in all shapes and sizes. Of course what we have here is a demo AGV but they can be as large as AGVs that carry, carry full car bodies out in industry. And we have a modular library of function blocks as well, PLC function blocks that come with this hardware solution, which allows you to modularly build up your software library, all based in TIA, all based in PLC projects to accompany the hardware. And this solution in, that we have here as well, it's also free navigating. That means it's able to localize itself for this environment, map itself in this environment, and then follow a virtual path. So this is allowing the AGV to know where it is within a location, but we can also ourselves as the operators understand where the AGV is in this location through the use of RTLS, which my colleague Fergus can introduce now. Thanks very much, Connor. Yeah, so RTLS stands for Real-Time Locating Services. And the idea with RTLS is if we want to take that locating factory-wide, we want to start looking at tagging up our assets such as forklifts, or it could be high-value product, materials, anything like that. Maybe we want to make sure we maintain a cold chain for something in pharmaceuticals or maybe we want to keep track of uh, turbine blades or, or even just manage our traffic flow within the factory. That's where RTLS comes in. Transponders like this are uh, fixed onto things like your forklifts or your assets. We can write data to the screen to interface with the operators. And then all the information is pulled back via these antennas or gateways as we called them and pulled back into the software where we get a real-time view of where everything in our factory is. So you can see we've got a little real-time view here of our AGV moving around its pen. The benefit though in terms of uh, auditing for example for something like a pharmaceutical industry is we also have all the historical data. So you can see on the right hand side here, uh, looking slightly like the, out, the imprint of a dove has just flown into the screen, <laughs> this is the historical data from our testing that we did on Monday uh, with the AGV. So it's a, a really new piece of technology, think of it as your own private super accurate indoor GPS system. This is our CMU Advanced Navigation System Plus software, and this is what we're actually using to navigate the AGV in that arena you see over there. So as you can see, we've mapped out the area, and what it's doing at this moment in time is the blue lines are what it's actually seeing, and it's comparing what it actually sees to these black lines, which is the theoretical map that it's been taught. And it's creating a localization score to kind of make sure that it's happy in that environment and make sure that it's ready to move along this virtual path that we've drawn. And this virtual path here is a virtual route that it's following, and these little points here are virtual RFID points. So these virtual RFID points are used to locate the AGV, navigate the AGV through an environment, but also give the AGV commands. So as you see here, the AGV is actually crabbing to the right, keeping itself forward. And what it would also do here is crab to the left, keeping itself forward. This shows how having a flexible omnidirectional AGV can benefit you by being able to crab an AGV into a bay, for example, for it to be loaded rather than having to turn it, fit it exactly into the bay you need to get it out, fit it back in out of it again. And here we're showing how the AGV can, once it's out of a bay, go around this curve here, and we're using a function called overgrinding. So we have an ident point there, a virtual RFID point, but it's actually going to go straight over it, because it doesn't need to stop there. I've got places to be. So we can have a function there to say, ignore this one, get to where you need to go. That load you've just been given, drop it off where you need to drop it off.